like I said, man, it's, the proof is in the pudding, man. I'm, I'm explaining some to you about all the new people that are into getting dogs. Make sure, you know, and another thing, you don't got to spend a crazy amount of money on a dog. You don't got to spend $15,000, $20,000 on a dog. If that dog can't dry or protect you when a gang of motherfuckers about to beat your ass at somewhere like that, you can't don't buy a dog for that much money, man. You know, I'm, I'm not going to tell y'all where to buy a dog. I, I bought my foundation dogs come from Blue Line Kennels. You can have your own choice where you get them from, but trust me, I, I don't spend a lot of money on dogs, and I got the best in the game right now. Thanks to my boy Eddie, man. Affordable dogs, the hottest pedigree, and his dogs work. Yeah, can your fat dog work? That's the next Deep Blue Line segment. Can your fat dog work? You know? Look at that playful dog. Look. Hey, 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 hey. Look, look at that. Look at that playful. Tails wagging everything. Hey, see, look, look. Look at the feet. No Easty Westy. Look at the feet. Look at that. Okay, now check this out. Watch this. You know, like I say, I'm I'm I'm, I'm new to this bully shit. I, I I come from dogs that ain't mixed with shit. Pit bulls, like my boy Eddie. So 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 so, so check this out. Recently, I discovered a few boards. I'm on the boards. I'm looking at dogs as. Dogs that's 140 pounds. I'm looking at dogs that's easty westy, 12, 13 inches to the ground. Let me tell you something. There is no such thing as a 140 some pound pit bull. It's not. It's impossible. That's like there's no such thing as a 20 foot man. It's, 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 it's just not. You know. And but this is my opinion. People could argue it, but there's no such thing. You know. And you can have the biggest dog in the world. If your dog don't do nothing. What's the point? If the dog don't protect your kids, all my dogs are strictly getting trained. My boy Daryl, the dog man, strictly trained. Home protection, everything. So my dogs are going to work. Weight pulling competitions. I'm going to have fun with the dog. I'm not going to keep them all fucked up. These dogs right here, man, we hit his whole team come out. They walk all these dogs twice a day. Man, these dogs get out and everything. These dogs are raising around kids. My, my daughter done been here, man. It's big. Come on. Oh, let me say this. I'm not saying no names, but if you're getting offended by anything I'm saying about Easty Westy, 12 inches to the ground, 140 pound pit bulls that look like uh, Great Danes, little dogs that look like really English bulldogs, then yeah, I'm talking to y'all. But if y'all know y'all bring real pit bulls in the back, having honest business, making sure that 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 y'all ain't selling dogs that's all sick and not giving motherfuckers back their money when the dog poop out in about a day and die, or the whack ass breeders, then y'all don't gotta get offended. You know, this is my, and this is on some non music shit. I do music, but this is my second love too, so I'm going in. Like I'm going on record. There you have it, man. I, I just wanted to really let, let all the newcomers know to the dog world that I must admit, I was taken advantage of. I've worked out deals with people. I've helped them out, you know, get their thing off the ground. People don't return a favor by giving me their bullshit stock of dogs. But, and Eddie ain't paid me shit for this. This is something I want to help out to make sure nobody else goes with this bullshit. But now I'm back on top with the dog game. And also, I want to say this. I'm going to shit on all y'all that take advantage of people. Here at Blue Line Kills, we sell dogs for a very amazing, decent price. And if you want a pet quality dog, when you call Eddie, say you want a pet quality dog. He'll make sure you got a pet quality dog. But if you want something that could buy you a house and buy you a yacht, he got that too. And it ain't thirty thousand dollars neither. And ain't not a, if you're looking for 140 pound dogs with bad hip problems, Easty Westy, then you gotta you gotta go call them other people. What, what's their names, Eddie? You know their names? I don't even want to make them famous, man. Every time we mention somebody's dog name, we make them famous. I'm not mentioning nobody's dog, man. You know, be on the lookout for the Bad Luck Project, um, J Black, Snoop. Um, I just did all the music for this new show called Dog After Dark on MTV. We just filmed the first, we started filming the first season now. Uh, that's going to be a blast. Uh, it was big yesterday. Puff was in the house, Pharrell was in the house. You can catch me on that Dog After Dark. You can catch me on everything, man. But right now, it's all about the breed.
Don't punish the breed, punish the the uh, uh I see you at Eddie want me to say blue line kennels again. Don't <laughs> fuck that. Blue line kennels again. Blue line kennels again. Blue line kennels again. But Eddie, I'm about to have my own shit, so what how we gonna work this out? I'm not trying to compete. But Hardly. I mean, you know, this as I learned this dog game was a doggy dog world. You know, so right now we cool, then maybe like me and Eddie will start a beef and all the blogs go up and then we'll get back together and make one good dog in five years and y'all buy that dog for thirty thousand dollars. Y'all might as well follow stupid shit like that. Everybody's buying stupid ass looking ass dogs that can't even walk in 75 degree weather. I was at the vet one time in the valley in, in Studio City. That's my vet, peace out to Dr. Lugani. And I, a, a dog couldn't even walk outside, man. The dog just fainted, man. Just And it was like one of those dogs I see in the bully magazines and shit. And then I was there and saw another dog look just like a massive, man. Just a big ass dog, you know. The motherfuckers that I got other dogs from, I got some balls from my mother people too. You know, I, you know, it's sad, man, because I, I, I love animals, so I'm not gonna put the dogs to sleep because they not worth shit. I'm just gonna love them, make them just pet quality, good house dog. That's what they are, cause they'll never work, cause they ain't worth shit. Then they not pit bulls, they're bulagis. I'm gonna call them bulagis, pit masters.